Welcome everyone to another episode of the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're going to officially kick off the design. Let's get to it. So the design, you might be wondering what we're talking about. In the past, I have created a clay sculpture. I reached out to some viewers and even had them help with some modeling. But one of the main areas of feedback was, hey, do you have a better scan? There's a saying, garbage in, garbage out. So really, you need to start with a pristine scan, something that Canon creators can really leverage and make some beautiful things. So today we're gonna to start with a better scan. I tried to explain this in a video previously. The way a 3D scanner works is the same way you decipher an optical illusion. You kind of have to look at it a little bit from the side. The 3D scanner emits energy and it has cameras just a little bit to the side to detect the shape of the 3D object. RevoPoint has a new product. This is called the Range 2 3D Scanner. It's got a very nice carrying case. All right. That looks so nice. Looks like it's got a calibration mat. All right, just reading here, um, it looks like you can kind of hook it up to a stand. Um, you can also hook this up, which allows for a Wi-Fi connection to the computer, so you don't need to be tethered. You might be wondering what the difference is with the Range 2. It actually has a 60% larger working distance that can really speed up your work of scanning. It also has four new infrared LEDs to enhance tracking. They also upgraded the RGB, so the color scans as well. So I am scanning under the car again, kind of in the engine bay and where the battery boxes will go. I just want to make sure I get the accurate measurements and some good points. So with the Range 2, I'll say different than the Range 1, it seems to keep its tracking much better. And uh, let me just show you what I did real quick. I was able to scan underneath the trunk area where I want the rear battery box to go. And this will allow me to get good position here. I've got these bolts that I'm looking to fasten to as well as kind of these uh, bumper mounts. So this all looks really good. Again, I think a lot better clarity, a lot better scan. It also seemed like the previous version, you would kind of scan one area, go somewhere else and come back and it wouldn't quite line up. This one seems to do a lot better. So we'll do a, a scan of the front part of the engine bay where more of the battery boxes will go. All right, so I tried the scanning again. Um, I think it picks up and tracks the points way better. I had very few times that ever said lost tracking, which is great. Um, I did struggle a little bit more with the, I'll call it the color option. Now, again, for me, I'm more interested in the geometry, but uh, when I switched it to color, it seemed to have a little more trouble. So I have done a little bit of 3D scanning. I'm getting a little bit better, but so is the technology. So some of the first scans I did, it would have some, I'll call it overlap problems, where I'd scan one area and then I'd kind of scan to come back to that same sort of area and things wouldn't quite line up. So when things don't line up, it kind of gives you this perception of like, you can't really trust it. With the scan of the engine bay a little more trustworthy, I finalized the design for the battery boxes and motor. I'll get these designs over to Send, Cut, Send and get them installed in the car and that will be a big milestone. All right, so some of the scans I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the back end. And you can see there's kind of lots of geometry and things. So it should be able to scan and pick up things pretty easily up until about here. The door, these panels, the roof are very hard because they're just very plain, very white, very reflective. And so tracking can get lost pretty easily. We'll likely use some tracking dots. And again, with the front, we'll scan things as best we can. This will give us the best opportunity to make a really great design. So I've had the front wheels on and off several times. So I'm gonna put them back on so we kind of get a better look at what the car looks like. The back suspension is up quite a bit because there's no weight back there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, a lot of the battery modules in the back to kind of give more realistic ride height. All right, we put the front wheel on, lowered it to the ground, put I think all but maybe six battery modules in the back. It's about all that would fit. 
It's still riding a little bit high for my eye, but uh, we'll go ahead and start taking some scans. I'll start with all the geometry where I don't have to do the dots, so like here and around back and then in the front. I have scanned kind of the side, the back, that side, and then the front, as well as kind of the front bay there. So I think most of that's gonna be pretty good. Now I'm gonna get to the kind of bigger, more generic areas where I need the tracking markers. So we'll go ahead and put those on. All right, I've got all the tracking dots all over the car. Should make the scanning go pretty good, I imagine. My plan is though, just to do one half and then I'll just mirror it in CAD. I'll show you some of the results. I think they were pretty good. So you can see, I didn't get very much of the overlap issue, lots of detail, both with feature tracking as well as marker tracking. I think this will set me up really well. As you saw, I've already used it to kind of complete the design for the battery boxes as well as the motor. So that'll be great. Also, we're finalizing the design. That'll pave the way to make some carbon fiber parts. That'll be coming soon. That'll do it for this time. See you next time. Infrared. It also, for our channel, this week we're going to talk about 